Hi, everybody. I'm Sherry Hudson Passy from the Slate Committee. And with me today, I have my friend, um, Catherine Lake Hogan, who is going to come tell us. She is here to tell us about her course for Slate, which is Ontario and Quebec Researching the Foundations of Canada. I'm so excited to have you. This is the first time I think Slate has done a Canada class, or could have been a long time ago, but since I've been interviewing people. Mm. <laughs> I don't know that Slick has done a solely like yeah. a solo course on on Canada. I did a combined course oh, uh, about six years ago, yeah. and it was on the great, like the Great Lakes, which included right. information right. on Canada, but also the U.S. So this yeah. this time around, it's solely Canadian. Yes, and I'm sure all those Canadians, people who have Canadian ancestors are so, so excited. Um, and you're such a great teacher. So I'm so excited that you're doing this, that you're coordinating this. Um, can you give give a, every, anybody who's interested in watching, they'll be watching this video to learn more about the class. Can you give them a brief overview of the course? Yeah, sure. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be covering the um, the foundations, the early days of Canada. So we're gonna talk about um, New France. We're gonna talk about fur choppers, voyageurs, um, the Hudson's Bay Company, loyalists, um, immigrants who came to Upper Canada in the early part of the 19th century. Um, what else are we gonna talk about? Um, we're gonna be talking about what Upper Canada was like during that time frame, so we had a lot, like a lot of immigrants from England, Ireland, mm -hmm. Scotland, Wales, um, Germany, Eastern Europe, um, and we pretty much cover up until about the early days of the 20th century. Wow, that's going to be great. And who who is this course for? Do you need to be Canadian? <laughs> no, you don't need to be Canadian. I, I mean, it's it's really for anybody who's interested in how to research people, our ancestors, um, relatives in Canada, in particular, the provinces of Ontario and or Quebec. So mm -hmm. we're covering both provinces. You don't need to have ancestry in both provinces. Um, if you do, great. If you don't, then, you know, you will learn. I still think it's worthwhile for the students to learn how to do the methodology of the research you know, in Quebec, even if they don't have French ancestors, because you never know, you might end up finding somebody exactly. who's French. Because just because your ancestors are French Canadian doesn't mean that they were solely in Quebec. I mean, all routes eventually go back to Quebec, but there was a big group that came and settled in Ontario um, through the latter part of the 19th century, early 20th century. And so you might find that you're researching French Canadians in Ontario, mm -hmm. or you might find out that you're researching English in Quebec. Exactly. So you know, there's that overlap. And yeah. so I think the students really will benefit from learning how to research in both provinces. I think that's great. And I think a lot of us forget too, as we think, oh, we don't have Canadian ancestors. We discover when we're finding where people came in, they actually came in through Canada and then came down to the United States. And I think a lot of people are very surprised when they see that. Yeah. So that's another good group of people that needs to take this <laughs> course. Are there any prerequisites? Do they need to have done anything yes. else before? Okay. Let us know. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we're, so this, this course is aimed at intermediate advanced students. So we're assuming, as the instructors, we're assuming that you have a basic understanding of the geography and history of Canada. So when I sit, when I talk about the Confederation of Canada, you know what that means. Gotcha. And you know which provinces were involved in the Confederation of Canada. And when I talk about Upper Canada, Lower Canada, Canada West, Canada East, you know what that means. Um, so we're not having to explain that. So we're assuming that you already know those basic foundations of geography and history of Canada before taking this course. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense because you don't want to have to stop and <laughs> explain that. You've got other things to right. do. So um, there are, there is a good book. Um, oh, what's it called? I think it's called like the Short History of Canada. Um, Desmond Morton 
uh, third edition, I believe, um, has as a good book. It gives a good overview of Canadian history and geography. And you don't even really need to read the whole book. You can read it up to like the First World War and it will cover the basics uh, foundations of what we're teaching nice. in the course. Oh, that's a great, that's, that's a great resource. Thank you for sharing that. Now you mentioned other instructors. Who are your other instructors? Well, we have two other instructors. We have uh, Luana Wentz Darby, and she's an accredited genealogist. Yeah. Um, and she's going to be teaching the Quebec courses. She has been to Quebec and she has done on the ground research there. And um, she does a wonderful job explaining all those things about seigneurial land records and notarial records and things like that. So she's handling all of the Quebec courses. And then I also have Christine Woodcock, who is going to be teaching three classes with us. Uh, Christine has a Scottish background. Um, she was born in Scotland, immigrated as a young child to Canada and was raised in Canada. And um, she is going to be covering some of the early parts of um, Ontario and talking about the fur traders, um, the Canada Land Company, those early um, things having to do with um, the Hudson's Bay Company and the Canada Land Company. So um, some bit of history there that may pertain to your ancestors and just helping the students understand what was going on in the colony at the time. Wonderful, three fabulous teachers. What, what a group, this is gonna be a great class. Really fabulous. All of you have so much knowledge and you're, both, you're all three great instructors. So this is gonna be really, really fun. And, and very, um, just building those skills for Canada, for people to help them find their ancestors. This is, this is a wonderful course. I'm so glad that it's being offered. So you told us all this great stuff about the course. Is there anything that I haven't asked you that you want potential students to know? Like what well, my question is, people always saying, is there going to be homework in this class? Yes, there's, yes there is. <laughs> <laughs> and homework is I, good. It is. You know what? I think, you know, any of the courses I've taken, you know, I've taken institute courses before, and I always believe the more you put into it as a student, the more you're going to get out of it. And oh, the true. same thing applies to this course is the more that you participate in the activities, the group discussions, mm -hmm. and of course, the homework, the more you're going to get out of this course. And yes, there will be homework. Um, both Luana and myself are uh, signing homework on the classes that we're teaching. And so you can expect, I think, you know, anywhere up to be four or five hours a week. I don't know, it's, it's every week, mm -hmm. um, but you know, you can expect to spend some time uh, researching and um, doing the homework assignments. I think it's You'll great. You'll get a lot because, out of it. Yeah, You'll you're, putting, you're it. putting the things that you are teaching into practice. And so people are understanding it or not understanding it. And then they have time to ask you. I'm not, I'm, you know, having issues with this particular thing. So they can ask. So I think that's wonderful. Yeah. Homework is always good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Homework is always good. So I think this sounds like a fabulous course. Um, so if you want to find out more information about when the course is being held uh, and how to register, please go to uh, the SLIG registration page and you can find out everything you need to know about it. And this video will be up on YouTube and on the, the page on, um, on the SLIG page so that you can find out even more information there. So thank you so much, Catherine, for joining me and, and talking to me about this fabulous, fabulous Canada class that you're going to be teaching Ontario and Quebec, researching the foundations of Canada. Good luck. And Thank I you. hope everybody who is interested will take a look at this video and register and get into class and learn from these three great instructors. So thank you very much. Thank you. We'll see you in class. <laughs> Bye. Bye.